Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we will discuss uh, connecting two microcontroller which are uh, placed in different locations and between these two microcontroller there there is a network and uh, here we have to program the one microcontroller to uh, receive data from the motion sensor and send this data for the second microcontroller and in the second microcontroller I will uh, program this microcontroller to receive data from the home gateway at the first motion controller uh, microcontroller and uh, this data after receiving this data this data will be sent toward the alarm so simply I put the motion sensor the microcontroller and the home gateway and secondly I place, uh, place the switch uh, to show as a network and secondly I place the microcontroller second microcontroller and, and I connected it with the alarm I may connect it with, with any other uh, output device for example I may connect it with the uh, display device I may connect it with the display device I may connect it with the uh, uh, door I may connect it with the light or, uh, or any server but in the current situation i connected it with the uh, alarm okay and uh, i have connected it with laptop also i connected it with laptop because i will use the laptop to remotely control and to remotely program the microcontroller so what i uh, did in this program is first i uh, in the home gateway in the <coughs> i set the internet connection as dhcp to automatically get the uh, internet connection in the current situation I have not connected it with the network the second is the lo local area network and in the local area network the address of the home gateway is 192.168.1.25.1 I will use this address to uh, get connected with the home gateway and this is the wireless if I want to connect any device with the home gateway to send all the data of the microcontroller first to the home gateway I uh, configured it as a DHCP to uh, get uh, to send its data toward the home gateway and, and I, I also selected the IoT server as a home gateway so it may send all its data toward the home gateway and the fast ethernet I uh, tick on the DHCP so it may automatically get address from the uh, home gateway here to connect the microcontroller to with the DHCP I uh, did the same thing I also connected it with the home gateway and secondly uh, in the laptop in the laptop configuration uh, I give the address of the home gateway and uh, uh, the first ethernet is automatically detected by the DHCP protocol so its IP address is 192.168.25 or 100 etc so uh, to go into the laptop I will go into the desktop and then the IoT server to get the both microcontroller to show how I am sending data from the microcontroller I am going into the programming in the programming section I, I wrote this program here to send the data toward the home gateway in first function I am writing the function setup where I am setting the pin 0 as amp because I am using the 0 D0 to connect it with the motion detector and there is no other input device so I program only the pin 0 after that I am using IOE client setup to send the motion and it is sending motion as a boolean value value because uh, there are two options with us as the motion is detected or not in the second option. I'm uh, yeah, Applying a loop which will continuously read data from the port uh, port 0 and this time I'm displaying this data as you can see that 00, zero is displaying here and then I will bring the alt motion closer to it to the, Toward the motion sensor then 1023 is displayed to show that motion has been detected and uh, later on I'm sending the status of the motion sensor toward the home gateway this was the program which is done in the macro controller and to connect the alarm to connect the second macro controller with the home gateway i have also program uh, program it i'm going into the programming and you can see i have uh, initiated this program with a 
variable state and I'm putting it to zero and to receive value from the second I uh, start the pro uh, uh, IOE client program and here IOE client on input receive function which I have used to receive data from the second function okay and after receiving data the state is changed according to if the data is received and according to that I am writing if the status is 0 then it will write 0 it will write low to the 0 uh, pin in the 0 I have connected the LAMP system so and if the if the, if, if the motion is detected if the state is high then it will write the uh, high to the uh, zero input port okay let's check it is it working or not when uh, and, and to impose conditions on the uh, input devices and the output devices i'm going to i to server this is the alarm controller uh, this is the alarm controller you can see that when i click on on it go on because it, I have done programming here which automatically turn it off and this is the motion detector to see then as it poking or not uh, keep this window on top and I will bring the controller toward the it should uh, this shows that the motion has been detected and in the condition I have applied different conditions and if the motion is detected the uh, alarm controller will turn on and if the motion is not detected the alarm controller will turn off so to check it i am bringing the alt mouse closer to the motion sensor you can see as i bring the alt mouse over the motion sensor the motion is detected and alarm start ringing so thank you so much for watching